I'm just sitting here in Paris, ordering crepes and drinking my French Bloody Mary. No! You are in the Vegan Test Kitchen. Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everybody. We are making crepes today. French cuisine. Perfect for brunch or breakfast for dinner. Whatever. All the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. All right, these crepes shouldn't be that complicated. That's what I'm hoping for. There are not that many ingredients, so you know, that's it. Just a bunch of flour. We're gonna blend it up, throw it in the fridge. You gotta let it sit in the fridge for at least an hour. That's what the cookbook says. The hard part is gonna be the actual cooking of it. Praying to the pastry gods. All right, let's grab everything, throw it in a blender. One and a half cups of soy or rice milk, quarter cup water, three quarter cup all-purpose flour, one quarter cup chickpea flour, one tablespoon arrowroot flour, and a half teaspoon of salt. All right, I think we're blended up how we need it. We're gonna pour this into a container and then we're gonna chill it for at least an hour. Fun fact, the most famous crepe dish is probably the crepe Suzette. Now, these are hot crepes served with a sauce of orange juice and liqueur and sugar. Then it has a little bit of brandy poured on top and then lit on fire. And this dish actually originated out of accident in the 1800s when a 14-year-old assistant waiter accidentally caught the dish on fire and tasted it and thought it was pretty good, so he served it anyway. Ah, the best things in life are often accidents. It has been one hour. All right, so you wanna get a skillet, a heavy bottom skillet, or a crepe pan. If you got a crepe pan, grab that, because, you know, we're making crepes. We're gonna preheat it to a medium-high heat, and this is important, you wanna make sure this gets really hot. So this batter is gonna be fairly thin. It should be just like that. Now we have another important part. You wanna make sure that your skillet is properly greased up. You don't want the crepes to stick to the pan, then that would be the worst thing ever. So it says to spray it first with a non-stick spray. This is just uh, canola oil. And then we're going to brush a little bit of vegan margarine on the bottom between each crepe. And we're gonna put in either a half a cup or a third of a cup, depending on the size of your pan. I'm gonna do just a third. Now we're supposed to continue to tilt it until the batter is fully spread and then sets, which it is. We're gonna cook it until the top of the crepe is dry, the center is bubbling, and the edges appear firm and lightly browned when gently lifted with a spatula. One to one and a half minutes. Super nervous. First time making crepes. We're almost there. You're gonna flip it and then cook it for 30 more seconds. These smell really good. These smell exactly like they smell in a bakery or a coffee shop. All right, one down. Bunch more to go. Just keep trucking. But make sure to butter your pan between each pan, or between each, uh, what are these crepes? So I found that once they start curling up, pretty close to it being good. It's a tip from uh, Eli, the professional crepe maker. Ah, oh, good God. I think this one's turning into a blob. All right, now that we're done with the crepes, all you gotta do is eat them but what to put in them? Well, that's the best part because you can put Nutella, which we made previously. You can put some jam in there. So this is just a typical savory crepe. You can put, you can make this sweet if you want. You can put sweet stuff in it. You can put some savory stuff in it, make it into a, uh, you know, a nice little appetizer, uh, whatever you want to do to it. But we're going to put Nutella on it. Let's try it. This smells great. Like I said earlier, it smells like a cafe in here. Of course the Nutella is good because I've already tried that previously and it's delicious. Now the crepes, 
I'm uh Crepes are good. There's a, they're a very simple, thin pancake if you've never had a crepe before. They feel delicate, but you should be on a sidewalk in a cafe in Paris. Yeah. These are good. These are definitely something you should make for like a Sunday morning family brunch or day after Valentine's Day. They actually weren't as hard as I thought they were gonna be. Especially, I think, if you have the right pan. Just make sure that it's greased up. But these were easy. These were easy to make. And you feel all fancy eating them. You feel like you should be in France somewhere, right? So anyway, I would definitely make these again. These are awesome. I think you should too. And if you liked what you saw, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. And subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. I will see you guys next time. One minute. Hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Hi, welcome to the Vegan Test Kitchen. We're making food today.